hello welcome to my channel fashion by debbie rose if you have not yet subscribed to this channel just hit the bell button and anytime we post videos you're going to get the notification today i'll be showing you how to cut the 360 degree circle skirt that's your first flex skirt now all we'll be needing will be the waist circumference for this person and the skirt length which is also the length of the flare and now to calculate the radius of our circumference that's your waist we'll be dividing 28 by 6.28 how did i get 6.28 remember the pi r square in mathematics basic arithmetic 22 over 7. when you divide 22 over 7 you get 3.14 now, you'll be dividing your waist circumference by 3.14 if you want a 180 degree flare. That's the flare that has joining on both sides. But if you want a flare that does not have joining on both sides, that's a 360 degree flare. So you'll be multiplying the 3.14 times 2. That gives us 6.28. So I'm going to be dividing my waist by 6.28. 28 divided by 6.28 equals 4.45. Now, to know the amount of fabric will be folding, the pattern or fabric, you say 4.45, that's the radius, plus 21 inches, that's the skirt length, plus the 1 inch seam allowance. We'll be using the half inch to top stitch the M of the flare and also half inch to join the band. So that's the 1 inch seam allowance. So everything in total, I'll be folding my fabric at 26.45. So I'll go on to the fabric and show you how to do this. So now, you can see that I folded my fabric into four. That's one, two, three, four. It's folded into four like this. It's folded into four. So to check the amount of fabric to fold, remember we've done the calculation. So you just measure 26.45 on both the length and the breadth look at this oh, let me turn my fabric this way so you can get a full view now you see this is 26.5 26.45 approximately to 26 and a half that's what we have there so you mark that and then on the length you also get your 26.5 26.5 you can see it this way this way now your Ankara fabric is just 45 inches length so if you're going to divide it 45 inches by 2 that gives you 22 and a half or 23 thereabouts so what did I do to get my full flare I added about 7 inches more you can see that I joined it that's the seam line I joined it to extend my Ankara fabric but if you're using polish cutting or lace you can get you know if it's by 60 inches you can get this accurately so i'm going to be marking out my radius from the tip of the triangle from the tip here of this triangle so the radius is 4.45 so you're going to mark 4.45 all round like this i hope you can see this this is the free hand method that's cutting directly on fabric. That's the free hand method. So this is the 4.45. Now for my skirt length, 21 inches, I'll be measuring 21 inches from the top down. Just round the fabric like that. The skirt is very simple, very straightforward once you've gotten your calculation properly. Okay, so I'm going to be cutting out what I have measured. So this is the 360 degree flesh skirt without joining on all sides so you can see the joining i did to extend my ankara you can see the way it is 
so if you want to fix a zipper you just slash one side of your flare and then you just take in about half inch of that but if you want the full zipper that's two inches that means you must have calculated the two inches into your radius but i do not want that that is why i did the exact thing here so i'll show you how to sew this later on okay so for the band of the skirt is 28 inches so you're just going to add one inch seam allowance to it you fold your band into two you fold into two for the fabric and the facing i like to cut it together like this so you measure 28 inches width plus one inch seam allowance and then two inches um, length plus half inch seam allowance so by the time you sew in half inch it's just going to remain two inches so that's 2.5 inches by 29 inches so if you want to sew your band you're going to attach the soft collar stay to the wrong side of the band and then you fix it to your flare so we'll do this in the sewing class now we want to sew the flare skirt so i have slitted sorry i have slit one side of my skirt and then this is the band remember the circumference of your radius is what you measure to get the length sorry the width of your band and then i have ironed the paper stay i doubled the paper stay on the flare so you take it like this then you notch the required place for your zipper allowance and then you place your band against it like this mind you because we want to turn the lining the skirt with lining so i'll be leaving half an inch where i'll be sewing the lining to but if you want a neater project you can also fold in your band and sew in about a quarter inch so by the time that turns out you just put it against half an inch away from the tip of your radius and then you'll be sewing that to your circumference so i'm going to first turn the band sew in quarter inch on both sides before i then put it against the flex skirt so i'm done sewing you can see i've sewn quarter to the band and then i place the band at half inch away from the edge so now i want to fix my lining i want to turn the seam line of the band here with the lining so if you want to cut the lining as a flare fine you can buy about two and a half yards of the cutting lining this is the soft cutting lining in nigeria it's called abba lining but you can use the china you can use different types of lining pocketing and all but this is abba lining so i bought just one yard of the abba lining and then i slit into two you're going to cut into two and so you'll be joining what you've cut to the other side why because the flare is very full so you need a lining that is long you know on the lengthwise very long so you can pleat it along the band so now this is what i'm going to do i've top stitched the m line of the lining you top stitch the m line and then you're going to be fixing it this way you hold the lining to the fabric remember so now i'm going to be sewing the half inch from the tip of the band here i'll be sewing this half inch down and then i'll be pleating the full lining into the band you pleat it on top of the band and then you sew with half inch all the way down so when i'm done we'll show you so this is the invisible closing of your zipper allowance you can see the band very neat so i've pleated the lining around it so now to fix our zipper you just put the two together the right side like this and so you get the opening you mark the opening where the zipper will fit into and before the stopper before the stopper of your zipper here you're going to mark half inch upward and so you'll be sewing you just mark the remaining allowance one inch down 
and you sew it all the way down before we fix the zipper to the skirt. So now you just fix your zipper at the opening. You can see there's a stopper at the tip of the zipper. Just let it come down a bit, and so you'll be folding the extension into the band that's at the back of the band so i've pinned it down for you to see so i'll be sewing the edge of the zipper directly to the edge like this and also under the machine i'll go to turn and then i'll be sewing it this way okay so i've fixed the zipper already and so this is what you have the invisible way of fixing the zipper This is your flesh skirt. Like so happy sewing, happy, happy looking beautiful.